Well, Emil, tell me about that test. I know we haven't got the score yet, but tell me about it and, and about the horse as well. Um, yeah, he's a really interesting horse. I mean, I've had him since he was five. Um, he's been a difficult horse to train, to say the least. He used to be at very hot, but then at the same time slightly lazy. Um, but he's a, he's a lovely character. That's only our, his first season of Grand Prix now. Um, I was quite pleased with the test. Not massively. I had a mistake in the twos. Um, which was silly, but you know that's the way it goes. But I was I was pleased enough. It's great to see you. You're really back in the big time, aren't you? You've been to the Europeans. You've got is it? Am I right in thinking you've got seven Grand Prix horses to compete next season? <laughs> yeah, I'm extremely lucky. I've got um, I've got a whole string of Grand Prix horses now, which is you know just a fantastic position to be in. I'd have liked to have had one here, uh, one of the, um, the other ones, but I wasn't allowed to ride him here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so lucky. I've just got an amazing string of horses. I can't quite believe my luck. It's so difficult in horse sport because we all know about the highs and the lows, but how have you kind of kept yourself motivated in those slightly leaner years from when you, you know, you really hit the big time a few years ago? Um, I love doing it, you know, I love the sport. Um, every day is, you know, it's a great privilege to ride, you know, I love horses, I love the sport, so even though I've had to work with slightly less, uh, you know, great horses, um, I still love doing it, you know, every horse deserves the same amount of attention and the same amount of care in order to make it a Grand Prix horse. I mean, Tinto that I rode today wouldn't be possibly the most talented horse in the world, but I've thoroughly enjoyed training him. And, um, you know, he'll go on now and hopefully be a great schoolmaster for somebody else um, because I've got uh, a few others that are maybe a little bit better. Which is the best of the bunch, do you think? Tell me about your, the horse that maybe might take you to Tokyo in 2020. Oh, God, that's not fair. You can't, you, it's like choosing your favourite child, isn't it? Um, I don't know. There, there, are, there are three that are all sort of equally good. There's one called Donna Di Maggio, which is probably my personal favourite, if I'm allowed to say that, because he's, uh, he's only 10 um, and he's a majestic horse, an absolute majestic horse. And then there's a horse that I rode in the Priest and George here on Thursday called Shiloh, who's an utter genius. Slightly bonkers, but an utter genius. Um, and he would certainly also be one of my top favourites. And then there's Lollipop, who's great, and Delazio, who's also great. So it's difficult to say, you know, they all have some have more strengths than others, others have slightly, but I would say Donna Di Maggio is a horse that has no weaknesses. It's great to have you back. Thanks so much, Emil, and I hope your score is to your liking. Thank you very much. Thank you.